How to append data to a JSON file in Python. Hi Things, this is Chris, founder of Things.com and in today's video I want to show you, so given, say you have some data in a JSON file, how can you append some data to it? So it's a very specific question. So say you have a file uh, call, called uh, your underscore file dot JSON, so this is my file and the file contains some JSON data, so for example JSON is, uh, could be a list of dictionaries, so we have a list of dictionaries, say the first dictionary is has the key, val uh, key value pair Alice and 26, for example, storing the age of one person Alice. A second dictionary may, may be like Bob uh, with the age, say, 34. So now we have a list of dictionaries, right? So this is a JSON, classic JSON, uh, JSON file. So we can structure it like this or in one, one line or there are different ways actually to, to, uh, to, to structure or to um, to store a, a JSON object in the in the file. Okay, but this would be one way. So say we have this file. Now, how can we um, in Python code open this file, append and append some new data? For example, a new entry to this um, JSON object in the file. So we want like to update this file in our Python code. Okay, so first of all, we need to import the JSON um, library actually, which is very useful in, in Python. So I think uh, if you are an intermediate to advanced coder, you will uh, use the JSON library a lot. Actually, in data by, database and web development, we will use the JSON library very often. Okay, so then we have a file name and I've already s shown you the file name was like your file.json and we have a new entry which we want to update. For example, could be now a third value. We have car and Carl's age is 33. Okay, and now we want to update. So first of all, we need to our, we need to read our existing file contents, right? So the, and then we, after reading the file contents, we basically update our uh, JSON object. So we, we, re we read the file contents in our Python code, then in the Python code we have a JSON object, then we update the JSON object in our Python code, and then of course we need to write our JSON object into uh, the JSON file, the existing JSON file. file. Actually overwrite the, the, the file. Okay, so let's do this one by one. First of all, we open the file name in read mode. Um, using this with block. The with block actually ensures that the file is closed after accessing it once, okay? So first of all, we read it using the JSON load function. We pass the file object into it and that's it, okay? And you see the JSON load um, a function gives us, returns a um, um, uh, data structure, Python data structure, and it actually uses this conversion table here, which I have prepared. Uh, so for example, if our JSON file is an ob object, stored as an object, the Python data structure would be a dictionary. If it is an array, it would be a list. For example, in our case, we have a list of dictionaries. So um, if you look again in, at, uh, to our, at our um, JSON file, so this is our JSON file. You see it is like, it is a list of dictionaries. Okay, so we have a list, so we should, uh, or ba basically an array in chase, as a JSON data structure it would be an array and in Python it would be a list. Okay, so in this case now this means that uh, data is a list. Okay, so our um, variable data now holds a list, so we can simply update the list using any function you want actually, so you can, any list method you want, you can for example call data.append um, um, some our, our entry and now we have a list of three values so if we would now we could for example first of all we can we could print this so that you can see how it looks like um, okay now that was named okay something went wrong here data append entry print data maybe it is not printable Anyway, because it's a JSON object. Okay, but it uh, should still uh, work to actually write it. So now we can um, we can open the file again using file name. And uh, now we open the file in uh, writing mode and we use the same um, name for the, for the file object. And we can simply now call JSON dump. We pass the data into the function and uh, we we dump it also the file uh, actually the file object in which you, we want to dump this okay and this will override the existing file okay and if you run this code 
there's still an error so something I did I did something wrong here maybe it was because I because I used the wrong format in the in the in the in the file itself so let's quickly close this and I want to um, maybe I have to programmatically write the JSON JSON file I think this is the reason so um, let's very quickly uh, comment this here this out and okay and here I open the same file I create a list of two 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 elements and then I, I write um, this list basically into the into our, into our file object. So if I run this code, this code should work. Okay, I think it's done. So let's check our file. It has changed. So now this is our file object. It actually looks looks the same, but probably it uses a different encoding. So now if we um, if we get rid of this code to write our file content, so and now we again are back at where we started. Now we can. Um, run the the code and now it runs through so there's no error and if you if you check out the file so this is like the original file and now it asks me whether i want to reload it because it was obviously changed by my python code and now we have our third entry car as um to update the json file okay so it works like this you can easily update a dictionary using basically these two methods so you can load the the, the json content using the json.load um, method uh, and you can up or write JSON data into a um, into a file using the dump method so dump you pass the data you pass the file object and to create the file object we use this with environment and uh, in between you have the data in as, as a, in a python format so you can uh, you can do all kinds of things with the JSON data you can you can analyze or pass the JSON data okay and so on yeah but I should say this is not like this whole idea of actually storing your holding your data in a file holding your JSON data in a file it's not so it's not a great idea because because now if you have a very large JSON object and you need to for each little update you actually have to read and pass and understand the whole JSON object and store it in your python code so it loads the 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 whole object from from the from the file from the disk um to the to the memory and actually this operation already loading the whole huge object into the memory then uh, clutters your memory and it w it is not very efficient because it also has to pass and understand this huge object and uh, just to have one li little um, update right it would be for example far more efficient if you use a use the CSV file CSV we file like this so for example you have you could have Alice uh, 24 Bob uh, 33 and Carl 44 or something like this yeah so this could be updated much more easily because now you don't even have to read the whole file content you just use the append operation uh, so you just append some data to the to this existing csv file so this is far more efficient you don't have to your python code doesn't have to pass the whole file and doesn't have to load the whole file and understand the file content so this is basically now it is a constant time operation constant runtime operation updating an existing file with a new entry uh, whereas if you use json for this same problem then it is a linear runtime complexity so if you have n entries in the file in the json file already each single update means that you have uh, like o of n so you have you have a linear runtime complexity of just updating um, this this uh, this one file Okay, so but I think I mean for some for one reason or the other you may be forced, so you may need just need to update this JSON uh, uh, um, updating mechanism. That's why I have um, added it to the things the block. Okay, so thanks for uh, for uh, for watching this video. I wish you well and see you in the next video. Bye.